Hello friends, welcome to our channel Global Tech Learn. In continuation with our previous video, how to connect to data sources, where we have seen list of all the data sources available in Power BI and how we can connect to file data source. In this video, we will see how we can connect to databases. For today's scenario, we have considered the example of SQL Server database and we will see how we can connect Power BI to SQL Server database. Let's jump to Power BI desktop. So to connect to the SQL Server database to get the data, first we have to establish the connection between Power BI and the SQL Server database. We can do that by using the SQL Server icon on the home ribbon on Power BI desktop or click on the get data and it will show you the list of data sources from where you can select the SQL Server as it's a commonly used so you can find it under the common data sources list or click on more and in get data window go to database which provide you the list of all the databases connections available in power bi you can select the sql server or in the search box you can type sql server and and it will provide the database name so i am selecting sql server database and we'll click on connect window will open which will ask us for the sql server database credentials so we have to provide the server name and database name database name you can see it's optional so if you don't provide the database name and only provide the server name so all the databases which are present in that server the list will be available but for today's example i am providing both the server name and the database name First, providing the server name and then database name in which my data is stored. So these two details I have provided. Now you can see the option data connectivity mode, import and direct query. So what is import mode and what is a direct query mode? In import mode, data gets loaded and stored in a Power BI cache and in direct query mode, Queries will run directly at the source at runtime. Now, when to select import mode and when to select the direct query mode. Import mode is a default mode. If the data if the data size is not huge, you can select the import mode. If data size is huge and it's not visible to load data into Power BI, or user wants to see the runtime data, that time we can select the direct query mode. Direct query can be used only with certain type of data sources such as relational databases, example, SQL Server, SAP BW, Oracle. And with direct query, you will always have the updated data. For imported data sets to get the updated data, we have to schedule data set refresh in Power BI services. So as my data set size is not huge and I don't want to see the runtime data, so I am selecting import mode. Then under advanced options, we'll get some optional settings to, to provide the SQL statement or we can select include relationship columns, enable SQL server, failover support and all. So for this example, we are skipping this option setting and we have provided server name, database name, connection mode, connectivity mode we have selected as import and we'll click on OK. If you are making connection for the first time in Power BI, it will also ask you to provide the username and the password details. Now, once the connection has established, a navigator window will open, which will show list of all the tables available under that database. So for this example, I'm selecting sales data table. In the preview pane, you can see the preview of your data. And then we'll click on load. Data is loading and data loaded, 43 rows loaded. Now under data pane, you can see the table which we have loaded is available with all the columns. So go to data view, click on the data view and here it will show us the columns with the data for that particular table. Go 
go to report let's plot one line chart so I have selected line chart and I want to see item wise sale and quantity sold so this is giving me the item wise sales and the quantity sold for that item if you find this video useful then please do like share and subscribe our channel global take learn also mention in the comment section if you want us to cover any other topic related to power bi and we'll be back with more such learning videos till then take care